Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm Susan Whitaker, and we're going to do a yoga practice together. We're going to start with placing the hands right on the sternum, right on the center of the chest, and just very lightly tapping here. Okay, just enough to feel a little resonance within your chest. Bring yourself into your practice. Allow yourself to be fully present while you engage with your yoga this morning or this afternoon or this evening, whenever you're choosing to do this. It's a great practice to do at any time of day. Then we're going to relax the hands and on the inhalation, open the arms wide. Spread your arms right out into your energy field and on your exhalation, draw the hands back in. Back to the sternum, back to your center point. Inhale, expand, make sure your spine is lengthened comfortably. Exhale, draw in, relax your elbows and your shoulders. And inhale. And exhale. And this last one, inhale. And as you exhale, then draw your hands to your center. Pause, put your right hand on your chest, put your left hand on top of that, and allow your eyes to close as you draw your awareness in and down. Find your sitting bones, send deep roots into the earth, let your spine slowly rise, ease your shoulders up, back, and down, and let your hands go down onto your knees, either palms up or palms down, and your crown lightly lift so that we want to be extended and at the same time not rigid. Okay, good. Take one more deep breath and blink your eyes open as you comfortably exhale. Now since we've been sitting this way for a moment, take a, a second to switch your legs. Put your opposite foot in front and we're going to do a movement uh, and a breath together. We're going to breathe and move in cat stretch. With this breath, with your inhalation, you're going to flare your nostrils a little bit so you can get a lot of air into the body. And with your exhale, it's going to be a sound exhale. So it's a ha. And this is going to be beneficial to your vagus nerve, the longest nerve in the body that has a lot of connections right up at the base of the skull. So with this breathing, it will be very calming. And you might notice that as you first exhale, you're going to be kind of a little shy and not wanting to make a lot of noise. But I encourage you to ha, let it out. And you'll notice whatever state of tension you're in, that will reflect on the sound that you're exhaling. And as you continue, you might find the sound becoming softer and softer. All right, hands on your knees. Here we go. We're going to inhale, lengthen the spine, flare the nostrils, exhale, round the back, Exhale loudly with a ha through your mouth. Ha! You can release your neck down, head down. Inhale, lengthen up, flare the nostrils, relax the shoulders. Exhale. Ha! Inhale. Bringing in that air. Exhale. Ha! One more. Good. Straighten your spine again. Extend your right leg out to the side. Keep the left leg bent inward. And we'll take the left hand to the floor, right hand to the shoulder. Leaning to your left side, your right elbow will rise up to the sky. Turn your head and look at the ground. And we'll start to roll that upper elbow back, forward, and up. Keeping your eyes gazing down and stretch into the side of the neck, the side of your body, your ribs, your waist, your hip, and we'll breathe in deeply as that elbow rises, breathe out as it sweeps down. One more, and notice that left shoulder, make sure it doesn't pop forward, keep it back in alignment with your arm and your torso, and as your arm comes down, push away, sit up, and switch legs. So take your left leg out, your right leg in, right hand to the floor, lean slightly right. At the same time, try to keep that left hip on the floor. Left hand on the shoulder, left elbow to the ceiling, and we'll begin going backward 
and forward. Look down with your eyes and upward. So you're drawing circles with your shoulder. Make them the right size for you. So you can make small ones, you can make medium size, or you can make very large. The larger the, the circle, the more it involves your shoulder joint and the combination of muscles of neck, shoulder, and side. So it's really your choice of how much you want to involve your body in this movement and at the same time support your shoulder because that's what yoga is about. It's providing support for your body while we allow the body and mind to connect and we allow the body to open up. Good. One more circle. Sitting up, kind of pushing away, sitting up, bringing that arm down and we're going to come up to a standing position. So rising up, come all the way up, good. That sometimes that's the hardest part of a yoga practice is going from sitting to standing. So we're going to step out about shoulder width and raise the arms overhead. Inhale, on your exhale, sweep your arms down, bend your elbows, sweep your hands in front of you, cross your wrists. Inhale, rise up, exhale, come down. And if you feel like flaring your nostrils, you can do that here as well. So you can bring in a lot of air on the inhale and the up sweep of the arms and then a ha on your exhale if you've got a lot of tension to let go of. Last one. Straightening the legs, relax, wiggle your fingertips a little bit so that you can take the circulation all the way down into hands, fingers, fingertips. We're going to raise the right arm overhead and curve the arm. Left arm's going to tuck underneath and rotate your palms so they face outward. This is called the moon tilt and relax the shoulder so you'll notice you can raise your arms without raising your shoulders. Keep them down and step your feet in a little closer. We'll curve to the left. The left arm is under. Curve left. Look down with your eyes. As you inhale, stand up, exchange the arms, sweep the right arm under, left arm up, palms out, tilt right. We're going to start with just little tilts as we warm up. Inhale, place the arms, elbows bend, exhale, tilt. And you'll notice as your body starts to warm up, you make larger side bends. Do be aware of your lower back. And what I mean by that is if tilting to the sides makes your low back uncomfortable, you'll take those very small side tilts. A helpful hint is once you tilt to the side, I'm going left, I'm going to press with my right foot, give my right side a little more support. This is the last one, sweeping the arms around, tilting, looking down, pressing with that opposite foot, and then inhale, open the arms wide. Take up space, go ahead and take a wide stance, and on your exhale, take a ha breath. Ha! Bend your knees, elbows down, and inhale, spread the arms, stand up tall, lift your crown. Exhale, strong, out, out breath. Ha! Inhale, expand. Ha! This is a great one for letting go of things you don't need anymore. Let it go. Ha! Last one. Now interlocking the fingers in front of you, rotate your palms and push forward. We're going to bend the knees and imagine that the wind is blowing and roll your back in a flexed position, in a rounded position. Place your head between your arms and on the inhale stand up, separate your hands, exhale make a fist and pull straight down. Ha! Okay. Interlock the fingers, push the palms out, knees bend, round the body, drop the head a little bit, exhale, inhale, rise up and stand, and good, inhale, curve, bend the knees, round, move right through the skin of the back, inhale, stand up, push with your feet, feel your strength, grab the air and bring it down, last one. Exhale, inhale, and ha breath. 
Beautiful. Let your arms drop by your sides and dangle. And we're standing in a mountain pose. So bring your feet in about shoulder width. Rotate your palms forward. Take your shoulders up, back, and down. And lift right here from your solar plexus. There's just a little bit of availability there. Now lift your toes off the floor. Place each toe down one at a time. Bend your knees a little bit and find your balance here. Find four corners in each foot. Feel your stability. So your legs are stable. Your upper body is relaxed and open. Drop your tail just a tiny bit and lift with your crown. This is a really good pose to do if you're standing on the earth. Go outside, take your shoes off, preferably in the morning if you can, and get some of that wonderful earth energy flowing into your body so that you feel grounded. If you find that you're in a worried state or an anxious state or spending too much time watching the news, go outside and do this pose. Do your mountain pose. And finally, close your eyes. Relax into your strong <clears throat> and extended body. <clears throat> so you're extending downward through your fingertips, downward through your feet, upward through your crown, and outward all around you like a star. Take one more round of breath. And as you exhale, fully relax. Good. Place the hands on the shoulders. Step in with your feet. Let's start to windmill the arms. Rotate one elbow back, then the other elbow back. And allow your head to turn with the movements. And breathe. Opening up your rib cage, we want our lungs to be strong here. We want to let go of anything we don't need, including physically, including toxins in our lungs, old circulation that hasn't been moving very long. We want to oxygenate our blood and really move the oxygen through the, all the lobes of the lungs. Good. Plus, we're releasing tension from the neck and shoulders with this one. Pause and reverse. Go in the opposite direction and do continue turning the head like you're swimming, always tuning each posture to fit your body, your flexibility, your possibilities, your limitations. Yoga is about honoring all of it. Good. And pause. Bring your arms down by your sides. Kind of shake your hands out a little bit. And then we're going to take a wide stance. Rotate your left foot out to the left. Rotate your right foot in. We're taking um, two or three warrior poses. So raising your arms up to shoulder level. Now make really rigid arms and then relax your shoulders. Bend your left knee, warrior two, and you'll press with that right heel. Look to your left and if your arms are super rigid, sweep them down and back up again and relax them. Let the air support your arms. Good. And this is for strength and presence. So again, if you're having some anxiety or you're feeling like you just can't quite get your footing, warrior poses. Take your right hand to your right hip, rotate your left palm up, take a reverse warrior, raise your left arm, look back over your shoulder, drop the right shoulder, deepen into your lunge just a little bit, and look back. We're lifting our ribs right here. Pressing with that back foot so there's no collapse in the right hip or low back. From here, we're simply going to straighten the leg. Good. Continue looking back. Feel the difference with that left leg strong and straight. Rise up on the inhale. Look at your hand and paint the wall with it. Just bring your hand down like you're sliding your hand right along the wall. Change feet. Left foot rotates in. Right foot rotates out. On the in-breath, raise your arms. On the out-breath, bend your knee. And have very strong arms here. And then sweep them down, relax them, and just place them back in the air. Settle your shoulders. Warrior two, press with the back heel and the front foot at the same time. Good. And I want you to feel your stability here. Feel your strength. Feel your presence. Looking to the right. Left hand to left hip, right palm faces upward. Sweep that right arm up along your ear. And here's the modification if you've got shoulder issues. Put your hand on your shoulder. Look back over your shoulder. Deepen into your warrior a little bit. Your knee is right 
above your heel, not in front of it, and lift with your right ribs. Open up. Good. And slowly straighten that leg. Same pose, different leg position. Now can you lift your ribs a little bit more? Keep the left shoulder down. Keep looking back and down. And turning to the right, paint the wall with your right hand. Finger painting. Hand print all the way down the wall. And relax and rotate this right foot in. Let your feet face, face parallel and inhale your arms overhead. Nice wide five point star. Let's take a forward fold, prasarita. So diving down, reach down and hold anywhere on your legs. Hold at the shin or the knee or behind your knees or even your thighs. Now those of us with low back issues, we're going to bend our knees and place our elbows on the knees or on the thighs. Keep a flat back. Make sure that you can feel all four corners of each foot. Now stay in that forward fold, prasarita, and bend your knees so that you're lifting your sit bones just a little bit. Let your head dangle. And pushing into your feet, we're going to stand up, lift the arms all the way overhead, interlock your fingers, roll your palms to the ceiling, rise up right through your waist. And then shrug the shoulders forward, lower your arms in front of you. Relax into wrists, hands, and fingers. We're going to do that forward fold again and add a twist. So let me show you what that looks like. You'll dive forward. Both hands will go to one side and grab your leg. Left the other hand that goes to the hip and you're going to twist there. So inhale, raise the arms to shoulder level. Take a forward fold. Feel free to bend your knees. Come all the way down. Let's take both hands over to the left ankle or shin. Now shift your hips just a little bit so you can feel the weight on the right foot and take your left hand to your hip. Now roll your belly and your chest to the left and lightly pull against that leg. Your left hand can stay just exactly where it is or you can raise it to the ceiling so that it becomes a larger stretch. Do turn your eyes and gaze down at the floor. Roll your belly left. Feel that right in the center of your spine. Exhale, sweep your arm down. Swing your arms over to the right leg. Grab that right leg, ankle, shin, or calf, maybe even behind the knee. Right hand to the hip. Weight shifts a little bit to the left. Now roll to the right. Roll your belly and your chest and your heart to the right. Look down with your eyes. You're invited to take that right leg to the ceiling and add to the twist. We're not pulling the arm, we're rolling the torso. Deep breath in and deep breath out. One more breath and sweep down. Good. Bend both knees. Push into your feet. Stand up. Five point star, and then raise the arms overhead. Interlock the fingers, lift up, reach up tall, inhale, and then shrug the arms forward and down, all the way down. Release the hands, kind of shake the hands out, step your feet together. And now that we have our energy lifted up, we're going to lie down on the back. So go ahead and sit, stretch the legs out and lie down on your back. Palms right by your sides. And we'll take that right leg to the ceiling, interlock your fingers behind your knee or thigh, and point and flex your foot. Then circle your ankle. Circle the other way. And cross your right leg directly over your left. Bring both knees into the chest. And hold on anywhere at the knee, the shin, the ankle, anywhere you can find, and draw your knees closer into the body. Now, we all have our different level of flexibility, so that will determine how close you bring your legs inward. Keep the shoulders down. Let go and step down. Uncross. Good. Left leg to the ceiling. Hold on behind your knee or your thigh, and point and flex. Let's say hello to our hamstrings. 
Drop the shoulders down. Circle your ankle. This is non-weight bearing for the for the ankles and the legs, so the legs and feet really like this pose. Good. And cross your left leg directly over the right. We'll pull the knees together right into the chest. Yes. And determine where you want to hold on. Some people like to walk their hands down and get a lot of pressure in on the leg. And where you can tell that when you do this, you're feeling it in your hips, right? So draw right in, shoulders down. This is a hip stretch. One more breath. And release, step down, right leg, uncross left. Now take your feet about hip width apart. You can take your arms like this in cactus, or you can keep your arms by your sides, and you're going to roll your knees, knee down twist, from side to side. Allow your head to turn, find your breath. Very soothing pose, it's very nice to do a repetitive motion. It quiets your central nervous system. This is one of my favorite nourishing poses. So just a few more times. And return to the center. Now take a moment to go into your own relaxation by stretching out the legs, bringing your arms by your sides, Bring your head to the midline and let your feet roll out comfortably, let your palms face up, allow your eyes to close. And staying right here, tune into your breathing. Follow the breath in and follow the breath out. With every in breath, there's a softness. With every out breath, there's a letting go. So find your own breathing rhythm and let it relax you. Front body relaxing into the back body. Back body relaxing into the floor. Feeling the earth below you supporting you. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And you can just stay right here in Shavasana. And I'll see you next time. Namaste.